This is the day of decision. For many of you, I pray that you make the right decision to follow the Lord today or come back to the Lord today. This is the day of salvation. And I just uh, want to pray with you before we begin the scriptures. Uh, the title of the message today is God is calling, come out of the pig pen. Hallelujah. I believe that this is the day of salvation. This is the day that he is calling you, those of you that have been away, far away from the Lord. This is your day to say, I am coming home. God is calling you. The Father is calling you. Let's pray together. Before we do that, my name is Sherry White from Fountain of Life Ministries International here in Athens, Georgia. Thank you for viewing this day, this video. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every viewer that you will open up our ears, that you will open up our hearts, that we will just receive your goodness. And Lord, we thank you for repentance today, for repentant hearts today. Those that will answer the call to come out of the pig pen, to come out of whatever they've been in that, that's wicked and evil and, and just receive your mercy, receive your compassion today uh, in the name of Jesus. I ask that you impact hearts this day through this video. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, praise the name of Jesus. You know, it's good to come and bring the word of God and it's also good to have a a message that's just burning in your heart that you know, that you know, that you know uh, when it comes forth that the Holy Spirit is going to move on people's hearts. And that's this message. The Father, God is calling, come out of the pig pen. I want you to turn with me to Luke 15 if you have your Bibles. In verse 11, let's start reading there. And it says, and he said, or the Lord said, Jesus said, these are, this, in my Bible, this is written in red. So Jesus is telling uh, about these two sons. It says, a certain man had two sons. Now you notice here, let's just stop right there. Um, sons means that they've already come into the kingdom of God. And, and so this message uh, may not be for, for, for those that have never accepted the Lord as their Lord and Savior, but you certainly, I'm going to pray with you at the end of this, uh, this time together today, and you can certainly accept him as your Lord and Savior. But this is someone that knew the Father. And the younger, I'm in verse 12, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that that falleth to me, or give me my inheritance, and he divided unto them his living. Hallelujah. How many of you know that, that Jesus, we are joint heirs with Jesus Christ? Jesus went to the cross, he died, he rose again for you, and he gave you an inheritance. We are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. And in this story, the youngest of the two sons came and said, I want my inheritance. And the father says, all right, I'm going to give you yours. And the older son, I'm going to give you yours. And he divided uh, to both of them. He gave it to both. Verse 13. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there he wasted his substance with riotous living. Now, I want to just kind of break this down just a little bit uh, for you. Uh, the scripture says that he wasted his substance. Now, turn over to Hebrews chapter 11 with me. Keep your finger there. Turn to Hebrews 11. Let's find out what substance is all about. In verse 1 we find out what substance is. Now, faith 
is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That is what he had. He had faith. He had the substance. Um, and, and he took it and he misused it. He did not um, have respect for what the Father had given unto him. For faith is the substance. So this son was given faith. How many of you know that the scripture says that every one of us that are in the kingdom of God, that are children of God, have been given a measure of faith? And what are we doing with it? Well, this says that there he wasted it with riotous living. Now, let's turn over to Galatians chapter 5. And let's find out some of the things that are in the category of riotous living. Um, chapter 5 of Galatians, it says here, uh, let's start reading in verse 17. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, so that you cannot do the things that you would. He was not able to do what he needed to do with his substance, with his inheritance, because he was walking in the flesh and not in the spirit of God. It says if we walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And so this one particular son, he wasted his his faith, he wasted his substance that the Father gave to him with riotous living. Well, let's read on in verse 18. But if you be led by the Spirit of God, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, and strife, seditions, and heresies. Let's read on. Envy, murder, drunkenness, reveling, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the time past, uh, this is, you know, this is uh, being said to the, the church at Galatia, if you do such things, you shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You know, he had a portion. The Father gave him a portion, and he took it, and he wasted it with riotous living, which is, you know, verse 19 and verse 20 and verse 21. What? A waste of God's power and God's faith and God's joy and God's love. What a waste to go into this type of living. But you know, today is a reversal day. I said this is the day of salvation. This is the day to return to the Father. This is what I'm praying. This is what I prayed before we even started broadcasting this video. I pray for you that if this is touching your heart today, that you will hear God calling, the Father calling, and come out of the pig pen. In verse 14, I'm back in Luke chapter 15, verse 14. And when he had spent all there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. You know, there are, there are times when individuals go astray, and they go away from, from the Father. They go away from their inheritance. They go away, and they waste uh, their, their faith, and they waste their, their inheritance that the, that the Father has given them on all sorts of um, wickedness and evil and then famine comes and then they have nothing and this says he 
and he began to be in want. And when he went, I mean, verse 15, and when he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed the swine. So there he was. He was among the pigs. And let me tell you something. I have, when I was a little girl, we had um, a, a little, a small herd of pigs that my neighbor belonged to my neighbor. And when they would go out of town or on vacation, they would uh, pay me a little bit of money to go out and feed or what we call slop the hogs. And those pigs would hear me coming. And they would begin to snort. And they would begin to push one another. And when I would pour the, the food over into their trough, they, they would literally knock each other down uh, to get uh, to that food. They were mean. They would bite one another. And here he is. He's been sent into the fields to feed the swine. And he would fain have filled his belly, or he would have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. You know, there may be times that you have felt in your life that no one cares. No one has compassion on you. No one has sympathy on you. You're just out there. You're doing, you know, the, the things that you do, and... You know, there are many times when we had uh, a mission open in, in downtown Athens, Georgia for eight years that we uh, ministered to the alcoholics, the drug addicts, the prostitutes, the pimps, and, and those that were uh, fresh out of prison. And this is how they felt. They felt like no one cared, no one loved them, no one had sympathy on their situation. And here it says... And no man gave unto him. He didn't find any mercy anywhere. And when he came to himself, oh, I just thank the Lord that he came to himself. Amen. This is the day of salvation for many of you. That you have been living a life of sin. You have been living a life that a son should not live. You have been, you've been given an inheritance. You've been given God's faith. Hallelujah. And now you have, you have, um, there have been days that you've wasted it. God is calling, come out of the pig pen. It says when he came to himself. Now what does that mean? He came to himself. We well, you know, I believe that he saw who he was. That he was a son. That he was a, a, a joint heir with Jesus Christ. That Jesus had given him authority and power uh, to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means should hurt him. I believe he came to who he was in Christ Jesus. And I call you forth today in the name of Jesus. Those of you that have wasted what God has given you. God is calling. Come out of the pig pen. And I call you out of that pig pen and into the very presence of Almighty God. Let's read on. He came to himself, who he really was. How, and he said, how many hired servants of my father have bread enough to spare and I perish with hunger. You know, the word of God says that all who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. And this is the time that we're living in. We are living in a time of famine for the word of God. That's what it says in the Old Testament. That this is the, the season and the day that we're living in that the word of God is not everywhere. It's not in every church congregation. He hungered. And he said, my, my father's servants have food to spare. And then he said in verse 18, and I love this verse. I love this verse because I have seen individuals say this very thing. I'm through with this life. I'm through with pornography. I am through with, with uh, drugs and alcohol. And I'm, I'm coming off the streets and I'm coming out of the tent. 
uh, the tents, and I'm going to I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to go back to my parents. I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to go get a job. I've I've heard them with my very ears. He says, I will arise and go to my father. I will arise and go to my father. If I could summarize this, this short uh, sentence right here, it is the word surrender. Give up your way and let's go God's way. Because with God, all things are possible. But with man, it's impossible. It's impossible to come out of any type of riotous living without the power of God helping you and strengthening you and giving you the energy and the power uh, to overcome. It's not a 12-step process. It's just turning to the Father. I will arise and go to my father. And I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. Now, right there, right there, you see surrender and you see repentance. You see repentance. I will go and I will say unto my father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. And I am no more worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of the hired servants. And in verse 20 it says he did something. Hallelujah. He did something. He arose. He got out of the pig pen and he began to walk uh, toward the father. He began to go God's way. Oh, and this is another wonderful verse. This is such a beautiful passage in the Word of God. It says that the Father, but when he was yet a great way off, his Father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Oh, that's such a beautiful statement right there. That when we begin to start walking toward God and begin to say, you know, there's a repentance in our heart, there's a surrender in our mindset, and we begin to walk toward the Father, He sees us. And He comes to us. He is a very present help in the time of trouble. And if you don't know how to get out of the pig pen just say with me right now, Father, get me out. And he will do it. If you want out of the pig pen today, out of the right, riotous living, he will get you out. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I'm no more worthy to be called your son. That's what he said he was going to say to the father. Verse 22, and the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe. Now what robe is that? That's the robe of righteousness. Jesus Christ has been made unto us righteousness. It's his righteousness that we live by. That's the robe that he put on him. He put on a clean, beautiful robe of righteousness. Forgiveness, righteousness. And he put it on him, and he put a ring on his finger. And this ring stands for authority. He gave that authority back to him. He gave the righteousness. He cleaned the slight. He cleaned the slight. Through the blood of Jesus, we are clean. When we repent, and we say unto the Father, I've sinned against you. Please forgive me. It says in 1 John that he is faithful to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Isn't that wonderful? That's good news. He put a ring on his finger, a ring of authority. 
on his finger, and he put shoes on his feet. What kind of shoes do you think those were? What kind of shoes? I believe they were shoes of peace. I believe that the peace of God came upon this son as he came back to the father. And as he came out of the pig pen, he got a robe, he got a ring, he got his feet, uh, shoes put on his feet. He got peace. And then it says that he, his father said, bring hither the, the, the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. I believe that there was a, a celebration time. Because when we overcome and we come back to the to the Father, God is calling, come out of the pig pen. And when we do, this is what happens. There is a time of celebration. For my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. <coughs> Excuse me. And they began <coughs> to make merry. It's time. It's time to come out of the pig pen. <clears throat> you know, I was thinking about Abraham and Lot. And when Abraham, they, Abraham and, and Lot was his nephew, and uh, when they separated in, in the book of Genesis, you can look this up, when they separated, Abraham took the field and, and, and Lot took Sodom. And, and we know uh, from the Old Testament that there were many wicked and evil things that were going on in Sodom. It's the same thing as being in the pig pen. Being in that evil, being in that wickedness. <clears throat> but God delivered Lot and then he rained down fire on Sodom and Gomorrah and destroyed that evil. You know, when we accept uh, who we are in Christ Jesus and we hear the Father calling us, we hear God calling us, come out of the pig pen and we do that and we begin to walk toward the Father and he comes to us and he's a help to us and he gives us strength and he gives us authority and power. Um, then the fire comes and you feel fire in your bones and you feel fire in, in yourself and you say, you know, I can go and I can do what God has called me to do. No longer am I going to waste the faith that the Lord has given to me. You know, this message today, I'm going to pray for you right now. Those that have never said that they accept Jesus Christ as the Son of God, I'm going to pray with you right now. And then I'm going to pray for those that are coming out of the pig pen. But let's pray first for those that need to come in uh, to the kingdom of God. Just repeat after me. Just say, Father, I have sinned, and I am sorry for my sins. Just repeat with me this prayer. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I accept him into my life and into my heart as my Savior and Lord. I am coming to Jesus today. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. We, we say we, we love you. And those that have just prayed that prayer, uh, I, I know that God will raise up believers that will come and help you in your walk. I believe for that. Now those that are coming back to the Lord today, just repeat after me. Father, I'm coming home to you this day. I'm coming out of the pig pen this day. I'm coming out of the evil and the wickedness that I've been in and I'm returning to you today. 
I thank you for your mercy and for your grace on me. And I ask for your strength and your help to live a life of faith. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just praise you for those. I just see, I see a young man. Uh, you have been into um, all of this is a, actually this is a young man. This is, uh, you're not even 20 yet. And you've been into a lot of witchcraft and debauchery and, and a lot of video games that are not, um, of, you know, of the Lord. And you're laying them down. You're laying those down today in Jesus' name. I ask, Father, that you show these individuals that are coming back to you and coming out of the pig pen what they need to do to be strengthened by your might in their inner man and also in their outer man. I pray for those that have mental uh, disorders, uh, those that are bipolar, those that are manic depressives, those that are uh, paranoid schizophrenic, You've been diagnosed with all of those things. Um, the uh, attention deficit disorder. Uh, in Jesus' name, I speak to you that you are free. That you, This is the day of salvation for you. Uh, that the Lord is healing and delivering your mind. In Jesus' name. God is calling. Come out of the pig pen. Thank you.